If they don't like a bill, then they need to show up and change it or show up and vote no. Some strong words today from the governor, Governor Kate Brown. Republican state senators are once again walking off the job over a controversial cap and trade bill to fight climate change. It is a familiar topic. The new version would restrict greenhouse gas emissions. Fox News' Kendra Ken has been trying to track down those Republicans tonight and joins us now live at the Capitol with the latest. Kendra? Well, Wayne, I did reach out to every single Republican senator tonight. I was only able to get in touch with one of them that boycotted the Senate floor today. He says he does not want to share where he's staying at this time. However, I also spoke with family members of other Republican senators. They say some of these lawmakers have left the state. The lawmakers say that they're standing up for Oregonians by boycotting the floor. But Governor Kate Brown says they're only crippling democracy. Senate Republicans have chosen to take a taxpayer funded vacation. It's deja vu at the Capitol and Governor Kate Brown is mad. Oregonians should be outraged and I am too. 11 of 12 Republican state senators boycotted the Senate floor today to avoid voting on the controversial cap and trade bill. It's the very tactic Republican lawmakers employed last year to squash another version of the bill that Democrats tried to push through with their supermajority. We feel we're not walking away from our job. Uh, we're doing our job by saving rural Oregon's jobs. Republican Senator Chuck Thompson of Hood River would not tell us exactly where he's staying, but says he's boycotting the Capitol with one simple request. If they would refer that bill to the um, our Oregon public, our citizens, put it on the November ballot, uh, I'd be back there tomorrow. It is time for us to move forward. Our children are depending upon us. Our environment is depending upon us. And frankly, the entire world is watching. We need to get this done now. The votes are there to pass it straight up. Brown says the new cap and trade bill is updated with rural friendly compromises, but Republicans say it was rushed through, leaving little time for vetting and research. They say the bill would devastate businesses and families. I've heard numbers as high as natural gas will raise, rise four times what people are paying now. Propane will rise four times and the, the price of fuel. Both parties in fierce gridlock. I know what my side is not willing to give. I know what their side is not willing to give. And it's the same thing. With no hint of what lies ahead. And you might remember last year there was a lot of drama surrounding the Republican walkout with Governor Brown saying that she'd send Oregon State Police to round up those senators, leading Senator Brian Boquist to make threatening statements toward troopers. But this time around, lawmakers say they will not be using OSP. Governor Brown says that Republican senators have until midnight, March 8th, to come back. Reporting live tonight at the Capitol, Kendra Kent, Fox 12, Oregon.